With us once again is Jonah Greenberg, founder and CEO of Fiat. Jonah, thank you for taking time out of your day. Believe me, I wish it wasn't necessary. It's not like we're trying to save the planet here or anything. Uh, yes. Uh, well, let's get straight to the point then. Please do. Since we last spoke, there has been an increase in people speaking out against Project Resolve and even an independent board of scientific researchers that... <sighs> independent board. Let's deal with that word independent. Joseph Tasker of the Global Nine Consortium wanted the manufacturing rights for the Resolve rockets. Rather than building here in the US, he planned to take the jobs overseas. Creo has helped pull the U.S. economy out of its longest slump in history. Harvey Pearson, Nobel Prize winning scientist, two decades ago was refused work on Resolve because we found his methodology to be haphazard. And that's only two of them, believe me. That board is far from independent and impartial. Look, I'm not saying healthy, constructive criticism is bad. Far from it. But this is a witch hunt. This isn't an easy thing we're trying to do here. You don't think we hear these questions internally? Honestly, I don't know what people want from me. This is my life. Project Resolve is my legacy. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's an uphill struggle sometimes, but everyone here works day and night to make sure it succeeds. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I need to be a thousand places at the same time. It's hard to be everywhere and know everything. I I'd leave that to God if it wasn't for the expectations people have of me. That's quite all right. I understand. Do you? I think we'll call it a day here. Thank you, Don. Your work here is always appreciated. With us once again is Jonah Gutenberg, founder and CEO of Creo. Jonah, thank you for taking time out of your day. Believe me, I wish it wasn't necessary. It's not like we're trying to save the planet here or anything. Uh, yes. Uh, well, let's get straight to the point then. Please do. Since we last spoke, there has been an increase in people speaking out against Project Resolve and... Independent. Let's deal with it. Joseph Tasker, local items, want the manufacturing rights for the Resolve rockets rather than... Scientist two decades ago was refused work on Resolve because we found his methodology.
result because we found his methodology to be fantastic. <laughs> everywhere and know everything. I I'd leave that to God if it wasn't for the expectations people have of me. Move on, worker. The area is not safe. I recommend. Oh, yeah, right. We've, we've met before. Hey, cat got your tongue? I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you. It's nothing personal, just. I'm in the middle of something here. They need me. There's been a security breach in R&D. Big thing. We have to clear the area, so... You shouldn't stick around. Hey. Are you alright? No, no, I'm okay. It's just... There's so much going on. Like it's out of control. All the noise, the pain. Sometimes I feel like I can't hear my own thoughts anymore. So... You're part of security? I would have thought that would have been obvious from the uniform. Speaking of which, I need to get about my business. If I show up with only half of my equipment, the Chief will have my head. Okay, then let me help. Tell me what you need. Eager to please. I like that trait in a man. I appreciate your concerns, but... I'm ready. Or at least I will be. When I can find the rest of my gear. Damn helmet! Why did I leave you? And did I lose my leg and body armor? Then tell me, if you're security, you must know what's going on here, right? That information is classified. And even if I wanted to, I couldn't. The investigation is ongoing. Irina, you're an engineer, remember? You told me this. <laughs> an engineer? I can barely tighten a screw. Please. I... My head... I don't have time for this right now. I can't let you go out there without the proper equipment, can I? I know you mean well, but... I need full Gorgon armor. Security standard issue. I have to go now. Try and stay out of trouble. And you. Hello.
Good to see you. You're back. I can't tell you how relieved I am. Security is starting a major operation down in R&D. I was worried you'd get caught up in it. Warren? Please contact me. Fuck them. They think they're so high and mighty. Yeah, I hope you're reading this, you tossers. Echelon 9, what a joke. You think they'd share some info out of professional courtesy, but no. Classified. Bunch of butt munchers. I'm telling you, it's goddamn ridiculous. We're all doing the same job, right? I'm so glad you're back. I can't imagine what it's like out there. The data I'm receiving, their cries for help. The fading signals, their people. Their people and they're dying. And there's nothing I can do. I'm afraid. The situation's out of control. And it's getting worse. We have to do something. We need to release the lockdown on the executive floors. There'll be someone here who can help. You really want me to go up there, don't you? It's the best option we've got. I mean, we're not coming up with any solution. We're just surviving. We need to find a way to stop this and get help. That's what matters. The Executive Forum is our best chance. It's been in lockdown since it all went crazy. We need to get people out. People who can fix things. Fine. Assuming I want to, how would I even get to the Executive Forum? You're not gonna like this. There's no chance of getting through the usual way. But now that most of security is roaming the factory, their headquarters should be pretty much wide open. And it leads directly to the Executive Forum. You're kidding, right? I'm gonna need more than a good hunch to walk through Security Central. I told you you wouldn't like it. No matter which route you take, you'll need security clearance. And there's only one logical place to find that. Security HQ. I'm sure most of them are out on the floor or in R&D. This is your best chance, Warren. Take it. Have you managed to gain access to any of the systems yet? Not really. Most of the electrics are fried. The system seemed to reboot, but something's overwriting it. This isn't really my field. I'm lost here. We need someone who understands how it all works. Maybe they can break it down and call help in. You ever heard of Project Utopia? No, but then I don't know most of what goes on around here. Do you think it has anything to do with what happened? I don't know yet, but something's wrong. Well, just don't do anything rash, please. We can't afford to lose our nerve and play on a hunch. Not now. The board would know. If it's got anything to do with the current situation, we should try and inform them as soon as possible. All right, I'm on my way. Get out of there as soon as you can. They're not dead. The body electric sings through the system. You can't all live here. This is my head. Mine. Get out. Shh, 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 shh. You hear them, don't you? I knew it. You hear them too. My mouth feels like cotton candy and tastes of iron. Hey, did you ever go to the fair when you were a kid? I love fairs. They're not dead. The body electric sings through the system. I hated my parents for puking me out into this world. Don't you think it's the supreme act of selfishness? The wires whisper with the intent. Can you hear it? You can't all live here. This is my head. Mine. Get out. to help. Oh, it's you! I... I don't have time right now. Still missing equipment. The Chief is going to kill me. I can't let you go out there without the proper equipment, can I? Well, let's see what you got. Here, I think this helmet should fit. Don't know what to say. Thanks. 
That is one part closer to being myself again. Perfect fit, I'd say. Thank you. Means I only need to find that one last part now. Try this. Should be the right one. Thanks. I owe you one. You just spared me a lot of trouble. Have to go now. Try and stay out of trouble. I will. Probably thanks to you. <laughs>